If let's circle back is your catchphrase, this is an intervention. I'm sure you can train a model. But then a meeting happens, and the hippo punts your roadmap into Q never. The antidote, not more jargon, but clean, fast decisions. Today, I've got one simple framework, five killer translator lines, power moves that make you sound sharp and useful, not that person. The data science rule of three, start every update with this, outcome, evidence, ask. 15 seconds, done. Here's an example. Outcome, false positives are down. Evidence, P95 review time down 18%, refunds down 6%. Ask, ship to 50% now or wait one week for holiday data. Five phrases to retire and smarter replacements. If you're still saying, let's think outside the box, you're not a visionary. You sound like a podcast ad for middle management. Such phrases aren't helping. They're just verbal synergy fluffing up your bandwidth while misaligning cross-functional stakeholders. So let's circle back, peel the onion, and drill down into five of the lowest hanging fruits. Then leverage some next-gen phrasing that actually moves the needle on actionable decision-making. Now that we've optimized our thought leadership, phrase number one, let's circle back. Sounds like I'm avoiding this, Say, I'll send two options by Thursday 3 p.m. We'll decide in Friday stand-up. Why it works? Vague becomes ownership plus deadline. Phrase number two, there are a lot of moving parts here. Feel smart, solves nothing. Say, if we optimize speed, option X, P95 latency of 1.9 seconds. If accuracy, option Y plus 4%. Which matters today? Why it works? You turned depends into a menu. Execs love menus. Phrase number three, the numbers speak for themselves. No, no they don't. Say, approximately 400 fewer false declines per day, about 3.6K dollars per day. SLA, P95 less than 2.5 seconds. Why it works, money, time, risk, not F1 score. Phrase number four, we're still collecting signal. Translation, we don't have enough clarity to commit and we're not saying when we will. Say, request 1,000 labels, $2,500, four days, will decrease uncertainty by 30%. Why it works? You price the problem, scope the timeline. Phrase number five, we'll sprinkle some machine learning on it, AKA slap a magic wand on it. Say, two paths, rules plus retrieval, cheap, 1.2 seconds, or model plus checks, pricier, 2.1 seconds. Pick based on risk, why it works. You're offering architecture plus trade-offs, not selling bullshit. In summary, avoid using vague jargon and instead use concrete language. In-room power moves. Now that you have the words, let's talk delivery. One, the 30-second opener. Setting, you walk into a meeting. Everyone's half distracted. You have maybe 30 seconds before they mentally check out. Solution, start with this tight structure. Outcome, evidence, ask, all in one breath. Say, outcome, alerts down 22%. Evidence, P95 review down 18% cost per success down 12%, ship to 50% now or wait one week for holiday data, then go silent, let the pause do the flexing. Two, trade off reframe. Setting, you're in a room full of strong opinions. Someone wants speed, another wants precision, and the exec wants both but faster. Solution, don't argue, reframe the trade off. Lay out the options clearly, like flipping two switches on a control panel. Say, happy to optimize for speed, that reduces accuracy approximately 4%. Proceed. You didn't resist, you handed them the dials. It's not conflict, it's choice. Three, tame the hippo, AKA the highest paid person's opinion. Setting. Sometimes the exec in the room makes a big demand fast and everyone nods because salary. Solution, stay calm and make the cost visible. Say, that's doable. To hit Friday, we'll drop A and B. Still want Friday? Now you've reframed their request as a trade-off, not pushback. It's not no, it's here's what it costs. Four, the parking lot without being a jerk. Setting, someone brings up an idea mid-meeting. It's smart, but totally off topic. Solution, don't shut them down, acknowledge and contain. Say, great rabbit hole. I'm parking it on the ticket. Today's decision is A or B. You've shown respect and protected the meeting from becoming a podcast. Five, when you don't know. Setting, someone asks in the meeting, what's the expected impact on churn if we roll this out to 100% of users? Shit, you haven't run that analysis. Solution, don't bullshit, don't guesstimate. Nothing ruins trust faster than pretending. Say, I don't know yet. I haven't modeled churn at full rollout. I'll test two scenarios and share options by Thursday EOD. In one sentence, you name the unknown, describe the plan, and gave a deadline. Confidence isn't always about having the answer. It's about knowing how to get it. Six, lock the decision. Setting, you've just finished presenting an update on your fraud detection model. It's performing better, and you've laid out the rollout options. There's agreement in the room, but no clear commitment. Solution, turn vibes into a verbal contract and put it on record. Say, okay, to confirm, we're shipping to 50% today. 
Priya's owning the rollout. We'll check metrics Tuesday. If false positives go above 2%, we roll back. Everyone aligned? You locked in the decision, you named the owner, you set the timeline and the fallback condition, and you got explicit alignment. This is how you stop meetings from becoming inbox limbo. Sound smarter by being clearer. Back it with two numbers. Make the ask, lock the decision, that's it. Now drop your best meeting one-liner in the comments. Like, subscribe, and send this to the teammate who brings 12 charts to a 10-minute stand-up. Yeah.